Jason Hartman and Bronze are joining me in studio. They've just performed their absolutely beautiful new single, Lead Me On, and they're here to chat a little bit more about the song and tell us a bit about what, they've, what they're getting up to. Thank you so much for joining me today. Pleasure, thanks for having us. Thanks for having us. Now, like I said, your single is absolutely beautiful. Congratulations. Thank thanks so much. How did it come about that you two performed that together? <laughs> uh, well, we, we had done a few gigs together, so um, we, we have a few mutual friends and saw Jason at a few gigs and, uh, and then he happened to be booked for a gig, I happened to be booked at a gig and uh, ended up doing a few songs together and, and I had this burning desire to, to do this, uh, it's actually a cover, it's not an original for the first time and uh, I needed a male vocalist to, to join me on the song and I think Jason was the perfect match just to, to bring that emotion across in the song as well and you know then he can play the guitar, I needed someone to look cool with me you know. <laughs> so basically you just didn't have a choice. <laughs> no, it was like um, I haven't actually released any you know music for quite a while and um, it was a nice opportunity for me, um, you know, to actually come back into the scene after a long, you know, time away. Mm -hmm. And it, it wasn't my song. Or I, I actually I only just featured a little bit in it. So it was quite nice for me to just <coughs> come in nice and gentle and just reintroduce myself back into the scene, but without, uh, you know, being all about me, 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 uh, you know. And, um, and Bronze is amazing. And I heard the song and I was like, wow, this is actually really cool. It's quite unusual and it's... Uh, quite deep and I just I resonated with it and we pulled it off and it came together really nicely. Yeah. yeah. Now you're a Jobo girl and a KZN guy, the two of you are in <laughs> Cape Town at the moment. You're yeah. really getting a, a whole South African experience through this, aren't <laughs> you? Trying, yeah, getting all over the place. Mm. <laughs> yeah, but Cape Town's amazing actually. It's, um, I mean, dri just driving here this morning, uh, the, mm. you know, the, it's the whole scenery around here is yeah. really incredible and it's really active and the people are really nice and it's clean and it's well, you know, Manicured, I suppose, is a good yeah. word. And um, yeah, I mean, I live in Joburg at the moment as well. So mm. we kind of, and you also from the town. Correct, yeah, I'm originally yeah. from, I'm born in Peter Maritzburg and I grew up in, uh, in Cape Town and in high school onwards in, in Joburg. So I was lucky enough to kind of get a bit of everything. Mm. Yeah, so we kind of like <laughs> bounced over <laughs> each other. Yeah. Now, where can I find the song? Um, where can I download it from? So the song's from? available on iTunes, so all, all great digital platforms, um, but obviously the main one that people use is, is iTunes nowadays. Um, if you just want to listen to it, it's on SoundCloud, it's, it's on my website, which is bronzeofficial.com. And then obviously Jason and I are trying to be quite proactive on the Twitter and the Facebook and all those things, so like all um, updates, and if we end up doing another song together, um, all, all of that detail will be online as well. 2014 has been described by some as your year. You've had a really busy year. It's mm -hmm. been full of music videos and recordings. Talk yeah. to us about what 2014 has been for you. Oh, it has been a bit of a whirlwind. So I did. I got to do my, my first music video early in the year with a gentleman by the name of Carl White, which uh, it was fun and exciting, but it was a lot more work than what anyone <laughs> realizes. It's, it's tough. <laughs> um, but uh, the end result uh, was amazing, and um, I kept it quite simple. So it, I, I needed something that was more of a visual aspect for, for fans to relate to as well. So I obviously don't come from the idols background like, like Jason. So, um, you know, people had started hearing my music on radio. I, I I'd had a good response from the radio stations up until that point and uh, it was really just about bringing that as I say that visual aspect in so that people can start identifying me and and start kind of putting my my face and, and my voice and kind of connecting the dots um, so music videos and recording and live performances and then obviously doing our duet together and um, I haven't got into studio to finish my album yet but uh, hopefully before the end of the year and then I'll release um, early next year so I've got some exciting stuff coming up yeah. Now, I suppose you get asked this a lot, but if there was one artist you could perform with, who would it be? Well, um, one artist who I could perform with, who would it be? Well, I've already been with the ones I actually really wanted to perform with, with which is um, we, we opened for the Eagles, which is a huge uh, thing for myself and my family, so it was a massive mm -hmm. one for me. But I suppose if I had to, I think, um, you know, I, mean, I like John Mayer. I'm actually a guitarist. I'm not actually a vocalist. I never really sang. And Could have fooled us. Yeah, well, I was just giving it a go. <laughs> exactly. Man, but yeah, so, so I think uh, like a John Mayer, maybe. Um, there's some really good artists coming out. And, you know, it's awesome. It's, it's like kind of up my street, like acoustic kind of guitaring. Um, yeah. Um, Jackson Brown, who you most probably won't know. Dave Matthews, I reckon. Um, I would love to actually meet and, and perform with. Mm. So maybe actually Dave Matthews, I'd say, would be the one. Yeah. One guy that she really liked to, to jam with, you know. And uh, Vusi Matlisi, I could go on for a <laughs> <laughs> We'll stop. <laughs> yeah, stop me now, stop me now. Go on. 
Um, oh, it is. It's really tricky. Um, I think if I was going to probably pick one right now, it would be Michael Bublé. And I'm seeing him next year in concert when he's out here as well, so I'm very excited. I have to be right in the front. <laughs> I'll be like a bit of a stalker. <laughs> You'll be the one with, like throwing underwear at Yeah, him. yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think, I think he's awesome. I mean, there's so many great vocalists out there as well. It would be nice to do a duet with someone else and, uh, and go from there, or, or even maybe like a, a female duet and do something different and mix it up a bit. So, yeah, there's so many great people out there, though. How do you pick one? 